in this After Effects tutorial, we're going to go and extend our text. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. I got a very quick tutorial today, not a full 10 minute video like I normally do, uh, but this should be something that you should be able to put together in a couple of minutes. So here I am in a new composition. I already have my background elements and my text layer. And once you have your text layer written out, what you're gonna wanna do is right click the layer and click on create shapes from text. And we'll come here and maybe change the color of this layer so we can kind of see our mask here, toggle with the mask button here. And you see we have the outline of our text here. And what we're gonna wanna do is open up this layer, go into the contents, and we're, we're gonna wanna figure out which letters that we want to extend. So let's say we want to extend the X. So let's go ahead and go into the X path, add a keyframe for the path, and maybe we'll extend both of the R ends and our word here. So we'll add a keyframe for the end path and go to the last end in our word and add a keyframe for that path. And then what we're gonna do is just tap U on our keyboard so we can just see the keyframes bring these forward in time to the end of our animation, which would be about five seconds. And we'll go back to the beginning here. And what we're gonna wanna do is just come here and select the two vertices for our end here and bring it up, hold down shift so it doesn't wiggle around. And now what's gonna happen is that this letter is gonna go down just like that. And we're able to animate our extended text and it's really easy to do, go to like the X over here. And what I suggest doing with some uh, letters is turn your original text layer on and maybe just quickly you know, put that on top of our outline and change the outline color. So now when we extend out this text, you know, we're not, we, you know, not gonna wiggle this around. We can kind of keep this all in the same sort of uh, direction. And we'll come here and do this for our top layer as well, or for our top uh, you know, part of our X, and that should be good. And then we'll go back to the end over here, and we'll do the same thing with this down here. All right, and then when we're done, we'll go ahead and put our you know color back to its original uh, you know text color. Turn off our text layer, and we come take a look here. If we scroll through here, as you can see, we have this entire animation here. And of course, you can variate the keyframes by a little bit, so you don't have to keep it all consistently going at the same time. Maybe you have one that goes really quick. You know, all depends. Maybe what you can do is also select all the keyframes and hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease keyframes, so it's not a complete linear animation. And you know, that looks pretty awesome course remember to turn on motion blur and after a quick render this is what we have and obviously our text is moving and this one starts moving once that first keyframe begins so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick tutorial if you guys did please drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you have not already for more After Effects videos just like this and please be sure to hit me up on my social media networks those links are in the description of this video and as always thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you have a good day